ever feel like you could use a little boost? Like, what if there was a way to get more done, have better ideas, all by just, well, sitting still? Sounds too good to be true. Right. Right. But that's what we're digging into today. This whole idea of Zen meditation, we're going deep on this Zen secret book. See what the fuss is all about. And just to be clear, this isn't about, you know, becoming a monk or anything. No, no, no. This is about taking these ancient practices and seeing if they have a place in our busy modern lives. Exactly. So from what I'm gathering, Zen meditation is all about finding stillness. Yeah, it's about training your mind to focus, but not in the way you might think. You're not trying to like force your thoughts to completely disappear. Because let's be real, that's pretty much impossible. Our minds are always going, right? Exactly. Instead, it's more about letting those thoughts drift by like clouds. Interesting. You notice them, but you don't get swept away by them. Ah, so it's like hitting the mute button on all that mental noise. And Zen Secret suggests this mental clarity can really boost our focus and creativity. Absolutely. And the best part is there's actually neuroscience backing it up. Quieting that constant mental chatter has been shown to have a real impact on concentration. So it's not just some mystical mumbo jumbo. There's actual science behind it. Yeah. There have been studies that show even just a few minutes of meditation every day can actually improve your attention span and help reduce stress. Wow, I never thought about it like that. It's like building mental fitness. The more you practice focusing, the better you become at resisting distractions. It can help you whether you're at work, at school, or even just trying to have a conversation without your mind wandering. So instead of getting lost in my to-do list, I could actually power through it with like laser focus. Exactly. And it can do wonders for your creativity too. Oh, really? Tell me more about that. Well, think about it. When our minds are calmer, less cluttered, they're more open to new ideas, new connections, those aha moments. Right. It's like when you suddenly get a brilliant idea in the shower or when you're out for a walk. Yes. Those are the times when you're relaxed, not forcing anything, and that's when the magic happens. And that's what Zen Secret is getting at. Could taking even just a few minutes every day to be still unlock a better, more focused, more creative version of ourselves. And a pretty powerful question, isn't it? It is. And the big takeaway here, and this might be encouraging for some people, is that even practicing a little bit can make a big difference. So you don't have to become a meditation master overnight. It's more about incorporating these small practices consistently. Exactly. In fact, they have this really simple challenge in the book. Just try a short guided meditation. There's tons of them available online. See how you feel afterwards? Did you notice any difference in your focus, in your clarity? It's all about experiencing those subtle shifts firsthand. Because honestly, if clearing your mind even a little could help you reach your full potential, isn't it worth trying even just for a few minutes? That's an excellent point. Zen meditation, it's not about religion, it's about finding what works for you. Exactly. So I'm curious, where in your life could you use a little more focus, a little more creativity? Think about it. 